shipping with Ultrabook News. We're still at IDF at the showcase and we're still with uh, HP. Looking at the HP Spectra XT Pro here, now you might have seen the HT, HP uh, Spectra XT. The XT Pro has the TPM module inside. Apart from that, there's really not much difference at all here. Uh, $100 uh, premium on the price. Let's just quickly go around it for you. Obviously you can see the backlit keyboard there. Really nice design. This is a very nice uh, metallic finish around the side uh, of the device. USB 3 Kensington lock port, full size HDMI and you've got uh, an Ethernet port. I guess that's uh, gigabit Ethernet there. And then you've got another USB port here. Full size uh, SD card slot there. Headset port. Uh, some lights there. Back the keyboard here. So I actually like the HP Folio 13 keyboard. I thought that was pretty good. And one of the features of the uh, Folio 13 was the huge, not yeah, the Folio 13 was the huge battery they had in it. Something like a 65 watt hour battery I had in it, which was uh, really good. Do you know the battery size in this one? Um, I don't Just know the size. Top of your head. Up to eight hours. Up to eight hours. So uh, I don't really know the size, but the keyboard actually feels feels pretty good, quite responsive, not bad at all. Power button here, this has obviously got Beats Audio as well, so you've got the enhancements there. So 1366x768 screen, glossy, and it's not uh, it's not an IPS panel or anything like that. It's actually pretty, it's got a quite a nice uh, dynamic to the colour there, it's, well it's a little bit difficult to, to tell, but it's, ah, uh, look at me, been testing too many touch screens. This is going to be a problem in the future, HP. <laughs> oh yes, we use the mouse points to close a window, don't we? Yes, I remember. Good old Windows 7. Anyway, Spectra uh, XT... Uh, uh, sorry, HP Spectra XT 999 in the market now. XP XT Pro. $100 on top of that gives you the TPA module there. This is Chippy, ultrabooknews.com at IDF 2012.